Hey aviation fans, welcome to another version of Quantum Fly. If you've been watching the channel lately, you probably noticed the SR22 is back in Orlando running great and Vern and I are trying to fly the wings off her because I've got to get ready for my IFR check ride coming up really soon. If you've been following the channel, you know that I tried to do and add the most incredible perspectives from the cockpit. So if you look at the video right now, you'll see we've got the 360 GoPro in the front. And we've also got another camera facing from behind us so you can see everything going on in the cockpit. So we're gonna to try to deliver you most of this trip from Orlando to Naples as it happened and with lots of good cockpit audio and amazing 360 video like we have with uh, the cockpit view. And as usual, you know, we won't be short on little nuggets of wisdom from uh, Uncle Vern there uh, as he uh, continues to amaze us with his knowledge of aviation. <laughs> Guys, enjoy. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We really appreciate all the feedback if you have any feedback, also leave a comment underneath the video and I try to answer them as soon as they come in. Okay. Enjoy this trip and see you next time. My name is David Carrier. In 2007, I founded a commercial plumbing pump systems business in Florida. In 2015, after traveling the world commercially for over 25 years, I responded to a Discovery Flight coupon on the internet and was bitten by the aviation bug in 2015. From that point forward, all I ever wanted to do was travel from the front seat, not looking out the side window in the back. I decided if I was able, I'd travel the Southeast on my own as a private pilot. Together with Vernon Van Cleve, my trusty CFI and sidekick, who's been with me since the beginning, we've been traveling the country looking for a suitable aircraft for my mission. I've since purchased three planes and in 2021 was finally able to get my dream plane, a 2021 Cirrus SR-22. This is me and Vern's continuing flight log and aviation story. Hope you enjoy it. You know, people are going to be studying your dashboard now. Why, yeah. are you, why are you running your power settings that way? Why are you doing this? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm opening Clear myself up to more criticism. Hey, we're on the Sanford One departure. I got that programmed into the um, uh, PFD, 2,000 feet. And our heading is going to be 275, I think. It's hot. Okay, one, two. What were Let's the odds of that? Over here. One, two, zero point three. Flip it over. All right, so before you call, okay. give me half a second here. Okay. This jacket's got to go. Give me a pull. Maybe. <laughs> nah, hang on. Let me do this side first. I got more room over here for some reason. You're sweating. Yeah. <laughs> you ready? Jesus. I'm going to pull from this end. It's easier. There, there you go. Toss it. Watch the camera cable. Yep. Okay. You ready? Just about, yeah. One second. We're over on 120.3 tower. Verified here, if you can see, with the camera. And we are waiting for a Cessna. So we're good. we got time. Yeah, he's going to tell you to hold short. Blah, blah, blah. So I am so short-legged, man, that, you know, the seat rails... It's fine, you're going to give him a lot of room. The seat rails, right? What happens is, is the seat goes up as it goes yeah. forward, yeah. I so noticed that, too. I can't win. All right, I'm going to call call tower. <coughs> you go around? Yeah, I you don't know where he's right there. 
And Sanford Tower, November 731, Julia Hotel, holding short, 27 left. Here, 731, Julia Hotel, Sanford Tower, hold short, 27 left. Well, you couldn't resist. Holding short, uh, 731, Julia Hotel. Okay, 50%. Fuel is on. Mixture's rich. Radio set. 2339, left Lima, hold short, 27 center, contact now. Uh, Toga is now on. See how nice that is? Yeah. Oh, there he goes. He's gonna, he's gonna give us a minute because we're just gonna eat up the ground. And, and oh yeah. Get. Yeah, we'll we'll take we'll overtake him in no time. Sir, seven three one Julia Hotel, Sanford Tower. Wind two eight zero at five. Runway 27 left, clear for takeoff, heading 260. Take 27 left, clear for takeoff, 731 Julia Hotel, and we're uh, 260 on the heading. So, yeah, your SID is your guidance, right? You fix that? Yeah. Thank you. But what they can do is they can amend altitudes, right? They'll still have you flying the SID, but they're, they're amending altitudes along the way. Yeah. They're amending headings. All right. Okay, ready? Did you page? I did. There you go. Yep, let's go. 1001, 1002, 1003. 2805, right? Yep. Center line. Go. ready to fly today. It's cold out. Yeah. The whole 49 degrees in Florida, so up. we're wearing jeans with our flip flops. I know. All right. Good, good, good. Yep. Engines in the green. All nine five kilo runway two seven left. Clear for the option. When do you want to make your first turn? Clear for the option. Five hundred feet. Left. There you Small go. nine five kilo. They're gonna ding you for that on the. On the I'm video. gonna get ready with heading. And then I'm gonna go ahead autopilot. I was going to two six zero. There you go. Number one, Juliet Hotel, contact your line departure, 135.3. Order 135.3 for Juliet Hotel. Okay. The one thing I forget to do, I had everything else right. And Orlando departure, 731 Juliet Hotel, 2000, just off Sanford, 27 left. 731 Julia Hotel, Orlando departure, radar contact, climb maintain 5000. Up to 5000, 731 Julia Hotel. Alright, so it's already leveled off, right? Yeah. 409 Charlie, Quebec, turn 20 degrees right, and it's going to maintain at 3000. 20 right down, 3000, Charlie, Quebec. Alright, 6125 Julia, it's going to maintain 2000. 2000, 6125 Julia. Not bad so far, man. Uniform contact tower, 120.3. Just get, get to get, to get the hand. Oh, okay, look at that, man. Already. Pedo heat. Temperature. 5C. Yep. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> just, yeah. Just a cap. Just a cap on top of there. So this is done. That's it, right? Yeah. Because we've got, we're not going to any of these BORs. I'm ready with my nav. Where's my course? We're on vectors. Okay. Where's my course, though? It doesn't you show one. it? Your course is the manual sequence, right? As okay. Vectors to so what? Fission. Ah, they're vectoring us towards fission, huh? At some point, they're going to say direct to fission. Down to three. But great question. Great question. Oh, that's the gap in the roof, right? Yep. Yeah. So, where's your whole course at? Down oh, yeah. there's fission down there, right? Way down there. Yeah. So we're going to be steering with heading. Until um, we get down there. Well, he's taking us Unless to the west he, side yeah. of Orlando. And, and, and then he's going to say direct fishing. Right. They screw us every time we're on the north side of Orlando. Great guys down there. And girls down there, by the way. Um, fantastic attitudes. 
right? Well, it's not That's working. That's connected to the wing cam. Oh. So I know it's taped. I thought you were saying like it turned off, like the wing, it three, flew off the wing. <laughs> but, uh, you know, they really do take care of the flight training community down here. Yeah. They, they got a lot of patience. Sometimes you get the dad talk. <laughs> yep. You know, but. 731 Juliet Hotel, contact departure 120.15. Over to 120.15, 731 Juliet Hotel. 409 Charlie Quebec, reduce speed 20 now. Close way not tonight, Charlie Quebec. There you go, enter, did do the. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Orlando Port 731 Juliet Hotel, 4.6 for 5. 731 Juliet Hotel, Orlando Port, good morning. That's the name. There it is. Southwest 1509, contact Miami Center. 127.2. It's finally starting to gel. You know? Yeah. It just, I gotta be in it. I wanna get this certificate behind me so I can start going out and, you know, doing this. <gasps> November 1, Julia Hotel, climb and maintain 7,000. Up to 7,000, 731, Julia Hotel. Makes it so easy, baby, when you know what you're doing. Don't forget to hand fly a little bit for your audience. Yeah. <laughs> Contact approach 123.85. 123.85, for Alaska 40. Alaska? Yeah, they get down here sometimes. Jet Edge 30, did you need to set that 250, well, 250 miles at range? Jet Edge 30, turn left heading 090, and just send to maintain 6. So listen, man, let me know when you need me. I'll help you guys move. I don't know what we need yet, you know? Yeah. Um, That's the least I can do. I appreciate it. Um, <laughs> We got my dad coming down tomorrow. Oh, cool. He's an old man, though. But uh, yeah. I'm going to let him kind of rearrange my toolbox and get shit together. Number one, Julia Hotel, uh, stop your climb and just maintain 6,000 for a few stops. Altitude button, so altitude button. As I can. Altitude button. Okay, holding the 6,000. Altitude Thank button you. right here. Oh, okay. Down? Well, no, it stops the climb. See oh, that? I see what you're saying. Okay. He had a little urgency in his voice, you hear it? Yep. There should be somebody coming in, right? Uh, no, let's zoom in a little bit. Left lower. This guy. That guy's descending. <clears throat> so he's probably, yeah, right across us. Level 1038, 2400, Better get descending. He's five miles out in front of us. North of the lake. Southwest 1030, Orlando departure radar contact. Climb via the Cidic set, maintain 7. Right up here in this pocket. He's below us, isn't he? Oh, no, no, he's probably doing it for this guy here. I don't know why. Oh, well, gotcha. I see him starting out, maybe. Yep. Where's he? Do you see him? Yeah, he's right there. Southwest. Oh. I, I, I can tell it's southwest from here. He's Must back. Must be way up there. Oh, he's only 4,000 feet above us. Yeah, he's, he's coming, he's coming down. down. He's down descending to uh, 8,000. He makes room for the big iron, huh? Yeah. With 528 track, 11 o'clock, 6 miles west down, company climbing to 7,000. We're looking for him, so 528. Why do they say company climb? Because it's your sister airplane. <laughs> Every now and then, you know, two Southwest take off at the same time. You know, it's a race to the lineup is what it is. Yeah. If everybody's got a departure time to pull from the gate at 8, 801, 802, they're all racing for the the whole short line. Yeah. You see that down there? Oh, he's going into, he's way up there at Leesburg. Thank you. Yeah. Um, turn right heading. Zero. Yeah, he's way away. Five. That's your final approach course. Zero, five, five. You get a bad radio. This guy's buddy. on final right now. I can see him. He just went under the wing. 
Is it an Allegiant? No, it's going into Opopka. Oh. The kid's probably with an instructor, and they're going to hit that, that hill of a runway. Just, yeah. You know. Never will enjoy a hotel. Proceed direct fishing. Direct fishing for 731 Julia Hotel. Yes. Flight plan. Push the button. Direct. Oh, snap. Enter. Southwest 528, traffic, no factor, contact approach 127.75. Turn it off. There you Please go. Just, uh, we got him going behind us, Southwest 528, good day. Southwest 1038, traffic, no factor, climb and maintain 16,000, cross Gimli. <gasps> 16,000, cross Gimli. You know what else is going on up here? You never thought that this was a thing when you were first coming through. I had no idea. 35-3, No idea. This is what I'm saying. I could have just zipped over this. There's no guarantee that you can get through that, though, the other side. Earlier today, you know, when you first called, this was not this thing. It wasn't even showing up on the, on the, uh, on the radar, you know? All right, for those of you here... I was supposed to do this flight on my own, practice some of these entries, pulled Vern away from his packing, so now I gotta pack, now I gotta move him, which kind of sucks. I'll be, uh, I'll be honest. I'll be bringing beer. I, I, I've been <laughs> prepping my wife all day for this. Hey, contact Jackson, no better one. Hey, he's, not gonna lie. he's gonna call me. <laughs> he's gonna call me. <laughs> you heard it live here, Kelly. Up to 8,731 Juliet. United 2425, Orlando departure radar contact, climb and maintain 16,000. Climb and maintain 16,000, United 2425. Just as simple as that. What, what approach are you going to use? Two, five or two, three. Finish these up. Okay, next. And this is our takeoff, which I did by memory. And Climb, so climb power set, flaps are up, mixture is not, we're still climbing, would you lean in the climb? Absolutely. Okay. I've been waiting for that. So I just didn't think I should lean. Just back it off a little bit. While climbing. Back, back it off a little bit until you get to your cruise. Yeah. Okay, so the rule of thumb for everything is 3,000 feet. Do you think this airplane is going to hiccup when it goes through 3,000 feet? No. Or one of those little beater four banger carburetor ones might have a little, a little bit of a problem. Right. You know? um, this thing isn't going to hiccup for a while, but it's still good press to have that on your mind. Mm -hmm. Okay, leaned. Engine perimeter is good. Over to the wall. Building 81. Craft has one information. Airmet Sierra Tango Zulu for Florida and Coast Waters available on flight service frequency. Checklist. Okay, if you now we're getting eight. Zulu, Florida Coast Waters, go all the flight service frequencies. Okay, they want you boosted because they don't want any hiccups in the fuel flow. Yeah, it has nothing to do with leaning. You can lean while you're boosted. Yep. Okay. So we're gonna take this. Should I start it at uh, Rich? Oh yeah. Uh, right. Now we're in cruise. Charlie Bravo leaving Orlando. Go pump off. Space. Bob. Just power set. Let it accelerate a little bit. Get some speed on it. We're only doing 150 over the ground. Yep. <laughs> All right. Cruise power set. So what? What do we want for a cruise power? Well, we want. Uh, let's go uh, here. Yeah. Southwest 278, contact approach 127.75, good day. 2775, Southwest 278. Oh, there is it. 
I know you told me where it is, but... Yeah. Oh. Cruise. Go ahead, November. Thank you. Oh, I'm still in the check... Okay. I'm still in the checklist. Hold on. Clear. Let's go to menu. Found it. There it is. All right, so. Cruise performance. There you go. Enter. All right, so we're at 8,000. 4,000. Scroll down. Yeah, scroll down. All right, so push it. No. There it is. So we should get, let's go 79. We should get 180. Right? Oh, we're not saving no, no, no. any. ISA. So what are we? Oh, we're uh, six. So 8,000 at six, at six, right? Mm -hmm. So are we ISA? Are we colder than ISA? Are we hotter than ISA? What are we? Uh, we're cold. We're slightly warmer. Supply. So so it's easier than, than uh, it, to, to do this at sea level, right? Mm -hmm. So 15 degrees at, at sea level is ISA, right? Yep. Coming up 8,000 feet, that's 2 one degrees one per 1,000. So, we're actually... This is actual temperature, though, is it not? Yeah. Okay. So, it should be zero degrees right now. We're six degrees hotter. Okay. Yep. So, you can interpolate a little bit, okay? All right, so if you want 79%, okay, at 75, 78, what do you want? Okay, so you're kind of in this brick here, so... Let's save gas. You want to go... Let's go... Power. We still get 75 percent. We're going to get 180 yep. and 17.8. So it's slightly, slightly what hotter than that. Yep. Okay. So then what? Oh, we got to we're going to burn gonna go more. This way, right? Yep. So at. Uh, oh, okay. So it's here. 16 over there. Well, um, let's see here. So at ISA, 75 percent will give us 180. Yep. True. Gallons per hour, 70.8, right? At ISA plus 30, 71% yep. will give us 175. So if you go to 75, we can, we, we can expect a slightly less uh, number than what this is, yep. but not bad. So, right, to, so let's set so the, go to 75% power. Let's let's set the um, set the power first. Go set the power. Mike Bravo, thank you, sir. 71. 75. So, yeah, 75. There you go. Okay. Now, watch your fuel flow for a second. Don't yep. just go jam. Let it right. go. Yep. 19.2. So what do we want? We, we can go as low as 17.8. So just pull it back a little Look bit. Look at right here. Yep. It's already plugged in. All right, about there. Oh. It's, right, it's at the bottom of this yeah. economy brick. Yeah. So let's go in the middle. Right? No, not the middle of the brick. The bottom of the economy brick. And when you're done with this, you can switch tanks. Okay. There you go, 17.8, 75. Okay. We should get about 180 true. Let it accelerate. Okay, let me go ahead and boost on. Why are you put boost on? Oh, okay. Switch. I was like, we're in cruise, man. Why are you doing that? Should go back down, right? To where we set it. Yep. So, he's going to hand us off to either Miami or Tampa here next. This is handy, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Okay. Exit. Going 392, Orlando, departure radar contact. Very curious, though. Oh, he took us right over Disney World. Yeah. Didn't even see it. I don't know if this camera can see, but we got our flight plan in. Orlando approach, Archer 4 3 go. I'll just leave that up. That's nice. I got flight yeah, yeah, yeah. plan, I got this. Yeah, yeah. November 4 3 8 Golf, Orlando approach. Plus, I got weather. Which is nice. So, we got a 14 knot wind pushing us this way. Yeah. We're not quite getting our ground speed. We do not just need Gimli at or above 14. Well, we're doing this for true airspeed, not ground speed. Okay. So we're about 12 knots oh, yeah, off. Yeah, but still. I thought we'd get just a couple knots more than what we're getting. Yeah, I would think so. Yeah. We're only six hotter, but...
November 0, Mike Bravo. Correction, November 8, Mike Bravo. Contact Jacksonville Center, 126. We should be okay just leaving, not fueling, because we're going to add weight. See you, good day. Right? One Julia oh. Hotel, contact Miami Center, 127, correction, 134.55. Or 134.55, 731 Julia Hotel. Thank you. Stick around. Part 2 and the arrival into Naples is coming right up. Don't forget to ring the bell and it'll alert you when I post the second video.